Imagine a place where cultures blend, where nature dances, and where festivities never end. Welcome to Trinidad and Tobago. Tucked away in the southernmost corner of the Caribbean, Trinidad and Tobago is a twin island nation teeming with a vibrant blend of cultures. The islands have soaked up influences from Africa, India, Europe, and the Americas, creating a unique cultural tapestry that's as diverse as it is captivating. In Trinidad, the bustling capital, Port of Spain, hums with life. Walk down Charlotte Street, affectionately known as Chinatown, and you'll see it brimming with energy. It's one of the busiest streets in the city, a testament to the island's melting pot of cultures. But Trinidad and Tobago is not just a cultural haven. It's a paradise for nature lovers too. The islands are blessed with a wealth of natural beauty, from the stunning Maracas Beach to the majestic Maracas Waterfall, every corner is a testament to Mother Nature's artistry. The island of Tobago, with its charming town of Scarborough and the breathtaking Argyle Falls, adds to the allure of this Caribbean paradise. And let's not forget the festivals. Trinidad and Tobago is synonymous with the lively and colorful Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, a spectacle that embodies the island's vibrant spirit. The rhythm of steel pan music, the explosion of colors and the infectious energy make it a celebration of life like no other. The story of Trinidad and Tobago is not just about its landscapes or festivals, but also its people. The Trinbagonians, as they are fondly known, are warm, welcoming and full of life. Their love for their homeland is infectious and you can't help but be swept up in their passion. In this journey, we shall traverse through the heart of this Caribbean paradise, exploring its landmarks, attractions, and the very soul of Trinidad and Tobago. And in the heart of Trinidad's capital, Port of Spain, lies a bustling artery, Charlotte Street, also known as Chinatown. A vibrant microcosm of the city itself, this street pulses with life, a living, breathing entity that never truly sleeps. Here, the air is thick with the tantalizing aromas of street food, a mingling of Caribbean and Chinese flavors that reflects the cultural blend of the city. From the sizzling woks of street vendors cooking up tasty stir fries and spicy jerk chicken, to the mouth-watering scent of freshly baked roti and the sweet, tempting allure of sugarcane juice, the culinary delights of Charlotte Street are a feast for the senses. The street itself is a riot of colors and sounds, with the murmur of patois mixing with the rhythmic beat of soca music, the vibrant chatter of market traders haggling over prices, and the laughter of children playing in the streets. It's a multicultural symphony that embodies the spirit of Trinidad and Tobago, a country that prides itself on its diversity. Walking down Charlotte Street is like stepping into a different world, one where Caribbean warmth meets Chinese practicality, creating a unique blend that is both fascinating and endearing. The street is lined with a variety of shops, from Chinese herbalists and acupuncture clinics to Caribbean bakeries and clothing stores, each one adding a different note to the harmonious melody of the street. But it's not just about the food and shopping. Charlotte Street is also home to an array of cultural events, from Chinese New Year celebrations to the vibrant Trinidad and Tobago Carnival, making it a cultural hub that brings people together in a celebration of diversity and unity. As the sun sets, the street is transformed into a kaleidoscope of lights, with the glow from the lanterns illuminating the faces of the people who call this place home. Their smiles a testament to the warmth and hospitality of this Caribbean nation. Charlotte Street, a testament to the multicultural tapestry that is Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad and Tobago's love for sports resonates in its stadiums, the Queen's Park Oval, Hasley Crawford Stadium and Jean-Pierre Sports Complex. Cricket, the heartbeat of the Caribbean, is more than a sport in Trinidad and Tobago. It's a binding force, a shared passion, a common language. The Queen's Park Oval, the National Cricket Stadium, stands as a testament to this love a coliseum where cricketing legends are born and unforgettable matches unfold, the Oval is more than just a venue, it's a cradle of dreams. Just a stone's throw away, we find the Hasley Crawford Stadium named after the country's first Olympic gold medalist. 
a tribute to the nation's athletic prowess, this stadium is a hub of energy and competition where local and international athletes push the boundaries of human potential. Not too far off, the Jean-Pierre Sports Complex stands as a beacon of versatility. From netball to boxing, this complex has seen it all. It's a testament to the island's love for diverse sports, a melting pot of athletic endeavours. But the love for sports in Trinidad and Tobago isn't confined to stadiums. It seeps into the streets, beaches and backyards, where children and adults alike engage in friendly matches of football, beach cricket and athletics, turning every corner of the island into an informal sports arena. The islands have also given birth to many sports stalwarts. From cricketer Brian Lara, known for his sublime batting, to sprinter Eto Bolden, a four-time Olympic medalist, the islands have a rich legacy of nurturing world-class athletes. In Trinidad and Tobago, sports serve as a unifying thread, binding diverse cultures and communities. It's a celebration of the island's spirit, a testament to its resilience, and a reflection of its vibrant energy. It's more than a hobby, it's a lifestyle, a part of the very fabric of the island's culture. So whether you're a sports enthusiast or a casual observer, the pulsating energy of Trinidad and Tobago sports scene is sure to leave an indelible mark on you. Because in Trinidad and Tobago, sports is not just a pastime, it's a way of life. From the bustling city, we venture to the serene embrace of nature at Maracas Beach and Maracas Waterfall. Imagine a place where the azure sea kisses the golden sandy shores, where the sun paints a masterpiece on the canvas of the sky every evening. This is Maracas Beach, a tranquil haven nestled amidst the vibrant energy of Trinidad and Tobago. The beach is a symphony of natural beauty, playing a melodious tune that resonates with the rhythm of the waves. As the warm tropical breeze whispers through the palm trees, the turquoise waters of the Caribbean Sea lap gently against the shore, creating a mesmerizing contrast against the shimmering sand. But the charm of Maracas doesn't end at the beach. A little journey inland leads us to the Maracas Waterfall, a hidden gem tucked away in the lush greenery. It's a spectacle to behold as the crystal clear water cascades down the rugged mountain face creating a symphony of sounds that echo through the valley. The waterfall is a testament to the island's unspoiled beauty, a place where time seems to stand still and the hustle and bustle of the world fades into a distant memory. Every element at Maracas, from the whispering palm trees to the gentle waves and the cascading waterfall, contributes to a sense of tranquility that is rare to find. It's a place where you can let your thoughts float away on the sea breeze, where you can listen to the soothing lullaby of the waterfall, where you can soak in the untouched beauty of the Caribbean. Maracas is more than just a beach and a waterfall. It's a sanctuary for the soul, a place that embodies the spirit of Trinidad and Tobago. It's a testament to the island's diverse landscape, a place where you can experience the enchanting allure of the Caribbean, where you can immerse yourself in the natural wonders of the world. Maracas, where nature whispers the tales of Trinidad and Tobago. Crossing over to Tobago, we find ourselves in Scarborough, a town steeped in history and the majestic Argyle Falls. Embark with me on a journey to Scarborough, the capital of Tobago. A town that resonates with the echoes of history, Scarborough is a testament to the island's rich past. The town is a delightful blend of old and new, where colonial era buildings rub shoulders with modern architecture, creating a unique amalgamation of times past and present. The Fort King George, perched high on a hill overlooking the town, is a silent sentinel of the island's history. Constructed in the late 18th century, it stands as a sturdy bastion of Tobago's colonial past. As we wander through the town, the air is filled with a harmonious blend of aromas from local eateries, offering delicacies that are a tantalizing fusion of African, Indian and Creole influences. The bustling Scarborough Market is a vibrant showcase of the island's agricultural bounty, with stalls brimming with fresh fruits, vegetables and spices. Just a short drive from Scarborough, we find the crown jewel of Tobago's natural wonders, the Argyle Waterfall. Standing at approximately 175 feet tall, it is the highest waterfall on the island. 
A symphony of cascading water set amidst lush tropical vegetation, the Argyle Falls is a paradise for nature lovers. The journey to the falls is as breathtaking as the destination itself. A trek through a verdant rainforest teeming with a rich diversity of flora and fauna. As the water cascades down from the verdant heights, it forms a series of natural pools, each more enticing than the last. The cool, clear water is an irresistible invitation to take a refreshing dip. The waterfall is a sanctuary of tranquility, a place where one can truly lose oneself in the beauty of nature. In Tobago, every corner is a postcard, every moment a memory. The enchanting town of Scarborough and the majestic Argyle Falls are just two of the many treasures waiting to be discovered on this vibrant Caribbean island. Back to Trinidad, we delve into the industrial heart of the island, Makoya. Nestled in the eastern region of Trinidad, Makoya is a bustling hub of commerce and industry. This is where the island's economic pulse quickens, where the rhythm of progress is a constant hum. Makoya's industrial park is a beehive of activity, with numerous businesses contributing to the robust economy of Trinidad and Tobago. From manufacturing plants to warehouses, from distribution centers to logistics hubs, Makoya is a microcosm of Trinidad's economic diversity. It's not just about the heavy machinery and the ceaseless grind of industry, though. It's about the people who keep the wheels of commerce turning, from the shift workers clocking in before dawn to the executives strategizing in boardrooms. But Makoya is not just a concrete jungle of factories and warehouses. It's a place where the industrial landscape seamlessly blends with the natural environment. Amid the bustle of industry, you'll find pockets of greenery, where the island's tropical foliage offers a refreshing contrast to the steel and concrete. There are places in Makoya where the chirping of birds is as audible as the hum of machinery, where the scent of the sea mingles with the aroma of fresh coffee from the local roasteries. It's a testament to Trinidad's commitment to sustainable development, to striking a balance between economic progress and environmental preservation. At the heart of Makoya's industrial park, you'll find the Center of Excellence, a state-of-the-art conference and sports facility that serves as a symbol of Makoya's progress. It's a place where business and pleasure meet, where deals are made on the soccer pitch and in the conference rooms, where the spirit of competition is as strong in the boardroom as it is on the field. Makoya is a testament to Trinidad's ability to preserve its natural beauty. It's a place where industry and nature coexist, where the rhythm of progress dances in harmony with the melody of the tropics. Makoya, where industry and nature coexist in harmony, no tale of Trinidad and Tobago can be complete without the mention of its soul-stirring carnivals. Ah, the carnival. It's an explosion of color, a symphony of sound, a dance of joy that sweeps across the islands like a tropical breeze. This annual extravaganza is the heartbeat of Trinidad and Tobago, a pulsating rhythm that courses through the veins of the people and the landscape itself. Imagine, if you will, a sea of vibrant hues as participants don elaborate costumes, each more spectacular than the last. Feathers, sequins and beads catch the sunlight, turning the streets into a living, moving kaleidoscope. It's a visual feast that leaves one speechless and wide-eyed, a spectacle that defies description. But the carnival is more than just eye candy. It's a symphony that resonates deep within your soul. The air is thick with the infectious beat of soca music, a fusion of soul and calypso that forms the heart and soul of the festivities. Steel drums, guitars and voices blend into a harmonious melody that compels even the most reluctant of feet to tap along. And then there's the energy, the pure, unadulterated joy that seems to permeate every corner of Trinidad and Tobago during the carnival. It's an energy that's infectious, seeping into your bones and making your heart race with excitement. It's a joy that's palpable, a happiness that's tangible, a euphoria that's contagious. The carnival is not just a festival, it's a way of life. A time when the islands shed their everyday garb and clothe themselves in jubilation and joy. It's a time when the people of Trinidad and Tobago come together, united by their love for their culture, their music and their islands. It's a time when the spirit of the islands shines brightest. A time when life itself seems to take a back seat to the celebration, the carnival, a testament to the spirit of Trinidad and Tobago, a celebration of life itself. 
As our journey nears its end, we take a moment to reflect on the essence of Trinidad and Tobago, a tale of two islands, each with its unique charm and character, yet bound together in a harmonious dance of culture and tradition. The bustling Charlotte Street, or as it's fondly known, Chinatown in Port of Spain, a testament to the cultural diversity that thrives in the heart of Trinidad. The hum of activity, the vibrant colors, the tantalizing aromas, a sensory overload that is as delightful as it is mesmerizing. And then there's the sports enthusiasm that sweeps across the islands, the thwack of the cricket ball at the Queen's Park Oval, the roar of the crowd at Hasley Crawford Stadium, the adrenaline rush at the Jean-Pierre Sports Complex. These are the places where the spirit of sportsmanship and camaraderie comes alive, a testament to the island's passion for all things athletic. But the islands aren't just about the hustle and bustle of city life and sports. They're a haven of natural beauty as well. The golden sands of Maracas Beach, the cascading waters of the Maracas and Argyle waterfalls, the lush greenery of Makoya. These are the places where you can truly connect with nature, where the rhythm of the waves and the whisper of the wind tell tales of the island's rich biodiversity. And let's not forget the vibrant festivals, the most iconic of which is the Trinidad and Tobago Carnival. An explosion of color, music and dance, it's a celebration of life in its most joyous form. A testament to the island's inherent ability to turn the ordinary into the extraordinary, to find joy and beauty in the simplest of things. The industrial prowess of Trinidad and Tobago also shines through, particularly in Makoya, a hub of commerce and industry, demonstrating the island's ability to balance modernity with tradition, progress with preservation. Trinidad and Tobago, a symphony of cultures, a canvas of natural beauty, a celebration of life. Until next time, fare thee well. Thank you.